Hi, hello. This is this is Anup here, and in this video, what we are going to see is how to install console extension, right, from the latest version of Configuration Manager, that is 2107 version of Configuration Manager, right. So this is a new node. If you have not seen it, right. Probably Microsoft is going to stop supporting all the extensions which are coming as an EXE or some other options, right? Additional installation. So all the extensions should come through the console nowadays, right? So probably that is more secure, I feel. Let's go through the console installation process right or extension install process over here normally you should get a notification over here in the console itself and uh, that is where uh, you can come to this particular page updates and servicing and consoling extension and you can see this is the version 2 console extension and updated time is this etc etc right extension for opening the hub using web view 2 okay so hopefully that helps <laughs> so there are different options over here you can approve the installation right that if there is an approval process in place you can do that right and uh, you can disable the notification of this particular console and you can assign security scopes if you want right that's also useful right so that will allow you to uh, allow you to set up an RBAC feature for console extensions as well right that's pretty good now let's click on this and go through the installation process by clicking on this and it says oh this action will install selected extension on your local console only not in on remote console right in order to make this extension available through a console notification channel for installation on other consoles in the hierarchy make this extension approved and enabled click ok otherwise cancel it right so i think let's let's cancel this and see this is approved already and enabled already right and signed also you can install this extension from any other consoles in this sscm or configuration manager hierarchy as well right? so let's click on it and let's go ahead and click OK to continue the installation process. Suddenly, the console got closed as part of the installation. And it says feature update task requires that close the console. Yes, that is another issue when you have many consoles running on the server, primary server, right? If other admins are using the console let me close that console and make sure that i don't have any other consoles okay running at the same time let me try to retry and it's updating the extension now let's see how this goes okay come on okay the update extension it's installing the extension of the console right probably this is going to take a, a minute or so let's wait and see okay now it says console extension have been updated to restart the console configuration manager console click close right update completed for extension one of one of one okay that's good so now it's restarting the console Okay, and you can go back to administration workspace and see what is the status over here. Okay, it says the install button is now not highlighted or it's disabled, right? Now you can uninstall it by clicking on this right where you have this console extension installed now hope this was useful 
Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.